Okay, the last video showed you a volley. Now this is a full-out uh, mechanical battle. The battle is already... both sides are fighting correctly, uh, and for all they're worth. Now, uh, there's no player intervention in this, but there can be. Um, if the player was controlling one of the teams, it would stop after every round to allow him to change his basic strategy. Uh, now, watching it like this is pretty much just a uh, an exercise in in uh, I don't know visual entertainment because none of you have built any of the ships, none of you have any of the ships. Uh, no, no emotional energy has been invested in them for you guys. But uh, to a player who had bought this ship and built it, um, this would be a pretty nasty sight. Now, the building the ships is done using a wheel uh, with different technologies on it. Uh, you can see more about that in the blog posts about this game. But uh, it looks like the blue guys are pretty well going to destroy the... yep. Uh, but the game's battle system is, while still basic, is now advanced enough that I can build the rest of the game. The game is primarily mission-based and the battles are only here to serve as uh, compl complexificating factors in the missions. And in case you haven't been keeping up, all of the ships and species are randomly generated. And in the final version there will be like pop-ups of the captains going, Oh, my ship was just destroyed. Um, should be fun. At the very least it should look interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I like all of how this one looks. In particular, the shield hits, which are those blue swirly things. Uh, they look a little unusual, and I'm not entirely sure I like that. Oh, that's some cool-looking ships. Uh, this is all happening at medium range. There's also long and short range battles, which have a completely different... Um, Weapons which are good at certain ranges are bad at others. The only weapons which are good at all ranges are those missiles that you see fired. But on the other hand, those missiles uh, get distracted by ECM. Now I actually haven't implemented ECM yet, so right now missiles should completely dominate the battles because they have higher stats than the rest of the weapons, with the assumption that you'll be using ECM to avoid getting slammed by them. Also haven't implemented fighters yet, but I will someday. Ooh, this guy looks like he's gonna win pretty handily. Yeah, yeah, there's not gonna be much contest here. Uh, as you can see, I forgot to put a maximum cap on the size of uh, the visuals. Now, if you're actually running a fleet as the player, you probably wouldn't put all your ships into combat. You'd probably only put the combat-worthy ones into combat. So ships like this wouldn't even be here. They'd be back here uh, and could only be attacked or, or claimed if your battle fleet was lost. And also your ships are likely to be far more effective than these randomly generated ones. Hmm. Poor guy. Got his ass kicked. Alright. Thanks for watching.